Hi bunny fans! I, as promised, I wanted to talk to you before Easter about uh, the reproductive cycle <laughs> of bunnies. You know that, that, that phrase, you know, reproducing like bunnies. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's, it's seriously, seriously not a joke. And um, determining the sex of a, of a bunny as a baby is very difficult, okay? I mean, when I took my, my baby in uh, for a well bunny uh, exam, um, two vet techs, and a vet nurse, and these are bunny savvy people, um, we're on a fence about, about it. And I think Benjamin was, you know, roughly since, you know, the place I got him couldn't tell me anything about him. Um, you know, they were like, well, uh, and they've seen umpity um bunnies, you know, tons of them. And the vet came in and she is like the expert. I am gonna do a shout out in North Texas for Effie Giannopoulos at City Vet on Oaklawn Avenue. Okay, if you're anywhere near there, I travel 40 minutes or so to get to her. It, it, it's, it's so worth it. So it, you know, <laughs> finding a great bunny that is, is just such a, a relief. They're, they're different, you know, anyway, they're exotic animal, usually exotic animal. So they deal with, you know, even reptiles and birds and, you know, that, that kind of thing. Dogs and cats too. But anyway, okay. Let me not get derailed. <laughs> I get derailed so easily. Um, the reproductive process of uh, bunnies goes like this. <laughs> and you women out there are going to really appreciate this. Okay. A female bunny is called a doe and does are what's called obligatory ovulators which means that they ovulate upon copulation <laughs> yeah uh-huh so they always get pregnant their gestational period is 31 days you know give or take and they can get pregnant the day after they deliver a litter. Think about that for a second. <laughs> Just think about that for a second. So if you get um, two bunnies, you know, you find two bunnies somewhere and, and they're young and somebody tells you, oh, one's a boy and one's a girl and, um, the males are called bucks, um, but usually they say boy or girl. Okay. Um, one's a boy, one's a girl. And, um, I've dealt with this situation before, uh, you know, people contacting me in a panic. Um, uh, because, you know, they're baby bunnies. Um, well, something's a little weird about one of them, you know, she's starting to dig, you know, holes and pull out her fur and do all that jazz and what's going on? Is she sick? Is, you know, and nine times out of, a ten, out of 10, it's a real pregnancy. There are false pregnancies, um, where the bunny goes through the the dough goes through all the hormonal processes and stuff like that, but that's, you know, not as common. 
anyway, um, the 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 does basically run the show. Okay, um, that's why they are so incredibly hormonal. And they will, you know, reject a buck for sure. You know, they don't always accept a buck. Um, but the bucks also will try to kill whatever existing babies uh, might be in the nest. So there's a lot of conflict there. So you've got to be really careful, you know, when you do this. Uh, if you buy or procure, adopt, if you adopt, if you if you go to a rescue, they're spayed and neutered before you can take them home um, at a much lower cost than uh, if you took them to a, a vet. That's just an aside, but anyway, uh, so you don't even have to worry about that if you if you go to a, a, a foster or rescue whatever. That's not to say the same thing about a shelter. Usually the rescues get the bunnies from shelters. Um, and my ears are crooked. <laughs> okay, it's not the only thing that's crooked about me. Just so you know. Um, so going to a shelter you're not necessarily going to get a spade and neutered bunny uh, or bunnies so you could have this problem and then all of a sudden you have a litter of kits you know six on average and you weren't banking on that <laughs> that's just like what Okay, so then, you know, this is this is where this irresponsible breeding thing comes in and um, my, my focus on stewardship is knowing these things um, and, and uh, being proactive, knowing the questions to ask, knowing what to look for. Um, and that's it, I guess. Um, oh, I left out one important thing about the does. Not only are they obligatory ovulators, they have two uteruses. That's right, two uteruses. So they can be pregnant in one and then get pregnant in the other. Figure that one out. That's happened. I've dealt with that situation. And, you know, the the doe was young. She was not fully grown. Um, and uh, it could have killed her. It really could have. Uh, the owner was you know, I, I I was walking her through it, um, and she couldn't she couldn't get the like once again. This is why it's great to have a first aid kit. She couldn't get to a bunny savvy vet to help her with this process. It was on a weekend, and you know she didn't know what was going on, and you know I was you know trying to do the best that I could without being there. You know, um, as it turned out, um, it seems to me that the doe was uh, already pregnant because she had two very, very large kits and then four normal size kits. So um, it seems that she did get pregnant in, in both uteruses at different times. So it was a very difficult delivery for her. Um, she could have died. That would have been really sad because this owner really loved these two bunnies. Lop-eared, lovely bunnies. Okay, well, 
that's a little tutorial on the reproductive process and why hormones are so crazy in bunnies once they get to be three to four months old. Then you have to wait another couple of months before you can actually have the neuter or spay done. And then you have to wait another couple of months for the hormones to kind of work themselves out of their systems and um, they become a little more docile, okay? So don't get caught up in the beginning with that cute little fuzzy thing. That cute little fuzzy thing is gonna turn into a major aggressor <laughs> at some point. Um, keep in mind they're prey animals and God created them to feed you know, the animals higher up on the food chain, okay? So, you know, this is the way they're wired. Okay, I hope that was really helpful. I hope that explains a little bit. Um, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. You know, I'll, I'll do more. Um, and I'll be offline for a bit uh, taking care of my little Benjamin when he gets his neuter tomorrow. Okay, ta-ta, thanks for watching.